don't remember when I started praying for a husband, when I started hoping that this wedding, this party, this event would be the place where we'd finally meet. You know that extra alertness when meeting new people? My eyes sliding to check the left hand of any vaguely interesting man? And the disappointment when, yet again, it wasn't to be. Perhaps you're living with an if only two, an area of life that's just not quite right, a circumstance you wish God would change. I've listened to many people's stories over the last few years and I've reflected on them and on my own experience. It seems to me that there's often a contentment gap that sits between our expectation of what the Christian life should be and the reality of it. So what's the secret to finding contentment with the if onlys that we wrestle with? Contentment isn't a denial of our problems. It's not a lack of ambition or an end of hope. And it's not about just making the best of things. Christian contentment is the fruit of the joyous discovery that whatever our circumstances, Jesus is better by far. The Bible calls it boundless riches, overflowing thankfulness, exceeding great joy. Jesus said he came so that we could have life in all its fullness. You might be wondering whether that's really achievable, if it's really true. In this book, I want to show you that it is, as you fix your eyes on Jesus and discover the difference that he can make to all your if-onlys.